All right, YouTubers, this video is going to replace the VTrue V5 with the Noctua NH-U12S Redux model. Now, could not find the regular NH-U12S. Um, I think it is actually attached to my Ryzen 5800X. So, if it's on that one, we probably may not see it in this video. But, um... That said, I've got a lot of CPU coolers I'm going to try out with the i5. Uh, at least let you guys see some of the different gaming. This one was okay for gaming, uh, to be honest with you. It's just not up to the task for benchmarking, right? So hitting it hard with all the, uh, the multi-core benchmarks, it just can't cool the CPU down good enough. I had tried to mess with a few things. Maybe one day I'll make a video about, uh, you know, what are things you can do if you have a CPU cooler and it's not quite cutting it uh, with one of these K-type chips. So there are a lot of things you can do, right? You can disable turbo boost, which of course will drop the power usage way down. Uh, what else goes down with that though, right? The, the heat. But then performance, right? So that one's not so popular. You can mess with power limits. Not, uh, you know, isn't honestly one of my favorite things to do. But uh, you can undervolt, which will have varying levels of benefits. And then the final thing, folks. If I can remember what it is. They may have to wait till the end of the video. By the time I remember it. Oh, yeah. The final thing. You could adjust the uh, multi-cores. Uh, what that number is, right? So, I think the base of this. Excuse me. The default, I believe, was 51. So, you could potentially drop that down now of course you know there may be some performance losses i was going to do that with this however i ended up changing my mind so maybe we'll do that with the noctua i'm assuming the noctua will be a little bit better than uh than the vtrue v5 i mean honestly the vtrue v5 when i bought it or maybe it was actually it was given to me was twenty dollars now they're, I think, 35 bucks, right? So they cost quite a bit more. Um, my opinion, you know, Germans just do engineering better, right? Germans, Japanese. Uh, you know, Americans invent all of pretty much the greatest uh, technological advances, in my opinion, that we've had. And... They can't hold on to things, though. Some other company comes by, or some other country, makes it cheaper, makes it better. Uh, all right, so, NHU-12S. We need a uh, LGA-1700 kit, which this should be. The one that ends in, uh, or has 78 in it, uh, should be this one, not the 83, right? Because that's the spacing, determines the spacing between these threaded posts. So if you get the wrong one, not going to work. Now, of course, folks, got to, you know, people are looking at that like, what happened to that, right? I'll give you a close-up. Who knows? Got this motherboard used, 60 bucks on eBay. It was a tremendous deal. Uh, still got two other PCIe slots, right? All right, so that's not working so great. Um so you can see, there is an i5 13600KF in there. Now, hopefully I'll start remembering to link these videos to the gaming videos so you can actually see uh, what, what the computer's made out of. I used to do that in the past. I think that worked out pretty good. Uh, benefits people, you know. I want to see what it is, what you got. All right, so intake side of the fan. Exhaust is the other side that you don't see. It's gonna exhaust through the heat sinks, 
out the back of our CPU, right? Here's the I.O. shield, so this would be the back of the CPU. I want to orient it this way, so that means that the brackets have to be on here like so, all right? Now, uh, you could put your thermal paste on right now if you wanted to, but I don't like to accidentally stick my finger in it, which does happen, so we'll, we'll finish this up. In the grand scheme of things, you know, this would be the preferred order. But there are a lot of ways to do things. So those were the spacers underneath the bracket. Four nuts. You'll need uh, either number two Phillips or number one. This looks like number two, to be honest with you. So I got I got one of these kits for free from Noctua. Um, I've had to buy all the other ones because they only give you one per address, right? And I have um, almost ten Noctua coolers, and so many only so many of those you know were LGA seventeen hundred compatible. But D fourteen, D fifteen, two uh, NHU fourteen S's. I thought I had two NHU 12 S's, but I've only got one. And then we have the uh, Redux model, which is going to get installed here. Obviously, the materials, uh, you know, could be a little uh, not quite as efficient for cooling, I would say. Uh, or the CPU fan. I never did bother to compare the speed of the CPU cooler. So we've got to take this off. And not a good idea to do this over your motherboard, folks. So just because I'm doing it, don't don't follow me, okay? I do a lot of stupid things on these videos. All right. So now we need our thermal paste, right? Knock to a cooler. I always try to use genuine knock to a paste with my knock to a cooler. I honestly, I think I'm almost out in this bottle. So let's hope not. I like to do the three line technique. It works a little better with the smaller Noctua thermal paste. This one just, if you hit it wrong, it'll glob out. You know, five dots, one dot, whatever the hell you want to do. Just check it after, you know. If you have enough paste, check it to see that it's smearing good. They tell you what quantity to use, but uh, the harder, you know. For most of it, so it's hard to tell what's what. All right, so we're putting this down. Got to line these up. This is where, you know, it, it's important that you have the right bracket. All right. So we want to get a couple threads on this side. doesn't matter whether you do that side or the other side. And then hopefully a couple threads on this. Now, if I lined it up right, which I probably didn't, um, we should almost be able to pull this up. Right, see that didn't line it up, folks. So, pretty pathetic. How many years I've been doing this? All right, so we got one side good. I'll just rotate the motherboard. Okay, now we can crank this down. You don't want to uh, over tighten one side because it just makes it that much harder to line up the other side. And I've, I've, folks, I have switched over to a Samsung S21 for recording the videos. I do have other cell phones here, actually, that'll shoot 4K, 30, or 60 FPS. I think I have two. Uh, I find this one's actually linked to my YouTube account, where the other ones aren't. But uh, this one, you know, is, is uh, definitely better quality than what we had before. All right, so the way this is set up, I'm actually kind of surprised this is not on this side. Um, you know, we could change our hooks around, but I'm too lazy. So we're going to leave that there and have it go across. So I'm showing you one side so you can see it good. I'm using both hands. Um, if you don't have your RAM installed, you know, on this motherboard, at least you won't. Sometimes you'll have a much bigger CPU cooler that you will need to put your RAM in 
uh, first, but uh, obviously we removed a CPU cooler, put this one on. So I like to get these, you know, have them sit low, and this one's lined up pretty good, and we've engaged that and engaged on the other side, all right? Now, four pin connector, and I don't know, folks, if we can even see text on here that says which one is the CPU should be this one usually a lot of times it's the closest one right so we're going to use that one and if I screw up look down below because I'll I'll let you know all right now um I don't know what graphics card I'll use with this first we also have our little uh gizmo to turn this on because I don't have it in the case but um We'll pair this up with something, probably one of the more popular ones, a 3060 or 3070. Uh, you know, I'd like to just throw the best CPU or graphics card I have at it, but realistically, you know, not everybody goes to buy a, a 3090, and uh, that's the best I have. Obviously, there's 3090 Ti, 4080, 4090, and then the offerings from AMD. But hey, that's going to do it for this video, folks. Thanks for checking it out. Please like, please subscribe.